A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <sighs> However do they get that color? Are you gonna buy something or not? And what can I do for you? Me. You want something, you come back with your master. I won't sell to some stray branded. You want something, you come back with your master. What did you say was in these pies? Welcome, good. Uh, back off, branded. Can't you see I'm with a customer? Welcome, good. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a branded touch. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a branded touch. I simply can't decide. I'll just have to take them all. With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Not another step, Branded, or you'll be spending the night in a cell. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my Branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? 
Why my new escort? The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Don't think I haven't got my eye on you, Branded. On you go. Don't think I haven't got my eye on you, Branded. On you go. That's the day done, then. Drinks. How about... What are you bleeding shit about bearer? And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust, and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, 
ask for me there. I should probably start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing, then? Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. The dame sees that all of us share a bedchamber. It discourages unwanted visits from some of our more determined clients. And that means we grow close. If anyone knows where Tatian went, it'll be her chambermate. The dame sees that all of us share a bedchamber. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. Now you are always welcome here at the Vale. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. Now... So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm... I told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatian and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison, did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. We've all had our share of dodgy punters. That's why the dame has to hire escorts. We've all had our share of dodgy punters. That's why the dame has to hire escorts. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. Excuse me, you there, the gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me, I am Etienne, a humble merchant though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Ah, pity. There is good coin to be made. Uh, my, and, uh, I, and would... Why not? Marvellous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. 
Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. One package to each of my three customers beyond the wall. And remember, fresh from the master's table. One package to each of my three customers beyond the wall. Or did one of them get on this side of the gate? Another one of the dame's pets. Why must she let them off the leash? You're one of the dames, I see. Well, you'd best be back to the Vale before the sun sets. Once the men of the garrison have filled their bellies with liquid courage, a brooch won't stay their tempers. You're one of the dames, I see. Well, you'd best be back to the Vale before the sun sets. Sergeant's got it in for us two. As if either of us needs to brush up on our swordcraft. <laughs> he wouldn't doubt our swordcraft if he seen us down the veil last night. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Suit yourself? Looks like the dame keeps her pets on a tight leash. Eh, I doubt she'd thank us for giving him a thrashing anyway. How about I'd... Oh, no. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? Make it quick. I'm not in the habit of waiting on bearers. Now... If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, man. Leon. Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? 
Man of Vera! Win the Dane's favor anyway! I know he wants to hold my tongue for a start. Can I go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bulletin he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side had a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Emperor's finest, thrashed by a branded. The sergeant may be a surly bastard, but he had our number, all right? Next... Yeah, on second thought, maybe don't mention this to the dame. We wouldn't want you getting into trouble for brawling now, will we? Yeah, on second thought, maybe don't mention this to the dame. We wouldn't want you getting into trouble for brawling. I've heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil, then. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, simple fare cost little more than a pittance, but to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Then I shall have to find another means of helping our friends in need. A diversion of some kind, perhaps. I can't uh, about or, this not on and Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. That's the day done then. 
Drinks in the veil. The fruit's not getting any fresher. You say these are all from Dalmechia? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflamme's finest. Just as promised. Be dead in a ditch if it weren't for Etienne's blessings. <laughs> I'd be dead in a ditch if it weren't for Etienne's blessings. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars? Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Speak of this to anyone, and there'll be nightshade in your morning gruel. Speak of this to anyone, and there'll be nightshade in your morning gruel. Oh, it all smells so delightful. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. I didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden, all right. Betienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. If I loan you let the guards find that bottle, You'll have me to answer to. If I loan you let the guards find that bottle, you'll have me to answer to. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. 
And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the war gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I'm happy to see my trust in you was not misplaced. The dame will be delighted to hear of your success. I'm happy to see my trust in you was not misplaced. Ugh. The market's all up. Ugh. Need not Greetings. You are one of the dame's chosen, I see. Me. I am but a nameless weaver of song who would warm the hearts of the good folk of this town with such humble cloth as the muse might permit me to make. Greetings. You are one of the dames chosen, I see. Me. I am but a nameless weaver of song. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Get out of my forge. If I'd wanted another bear, I would have sent for one. You branded a nothing but a nuisance. Feckless Salotia. Get out of my forge. If I'd wanted another bear, I would have sent for one. It's not been half the moon since. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Get on with it! You want to bleed to death? You look like you need a rest. as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Ha! 
crush you! Get away from me! Jack! You'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. As will my hunger. Thank you, though. Drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. We always look forward to your visits, Clive. The dame especially. We always look forward to your visits, Clive. The dame especially. Round the bay with late. That's the day done then. Drinks on the bay. How about? Get out of my forge. If I'd wanted another bear, I would have sent for one. They may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded with a target on his back. The day may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded. See you tonight. <sighs> Do you 
Drake's head. Ain't a sight more beautiful than the realm. The markets are a veritable middle. Ugh, not with me. They're incessant chitter. Tatien was is very special to me. All of my girls are. I need to know what happened to her. Tatien was... is... You're one of the dames, I see. Well, you'd best be back to the Vale before the sun sets. Once the men of the castle fill their bellies with liquid courage, a brooch won't stay their tempers. For moon since Bellin's tour. I heard the bones fell favourably. To the Vale, then, is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin? I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. Where's the dame's brooch? One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Y y Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Most likely. Fools there, nigh on every night. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Bertrand was a loyal patron of the Vale until his appetite exceeded his means. Now he is loyal to me. Bertrand was a loyal patron of the Vale, until his appetite... What did one of them get on this side? Suffer to keep your granaries full.
of her pen while I did my chores but she hasn't come back yet I think she's lost please can you help me look for her <sighs> maybe she'll find her own way home um I let her out of I think she's I can't promise I'll find her but I'll try Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case... Let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Chloe always comes back. Always. But, but she's never been this late before. Chloe always comes back. Always. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have Idle branded underfoot. Oh, and you tell Lisette, if I catch that mangy creature around here again, I'll put it down myself. <laughs> You! Branded! Here, now! You're late! What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy! Well, don't just stand there gawping! Rescue him! The insolence! Someone needs to learn to break his slaves! You're late. What? Well. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. I told you. 
My boy is being attacked. He's not far from here, over towards the coast. Go on and help him, damn you! I told you, my boy... For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Eat me! Not if I can help it. supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Someone napping on the job. I hope they don't mind the interruption. The Crystal's Curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? 
I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... Sorry, Chloe. I'm I'm so sorry, Chloe. Up, the lot of you. There's still work to be done. You heard me. Shift your asses. You, Brandy, come here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, Father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed. They were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another with jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport?
More victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Though I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Until then.
If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire has in my unit here. Yeah! It's my turn! Let me try! Come on, give it back. If my dad finds out, he'll clobber me. I sell or be gone. Not enough for you. <laughs> Pity that. Ain't. Thanks for nothing. Expecting any new branded into the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Even a grain is missing. The collectors will have my head on a pike. I'll be needing some more straw for the stables. One of the ends just gave birth. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one has been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? A trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. If you want my advice, find the merchant quick and speak to him and only him. Then march yourself and that brand of yours straight back to Northridge before the locals take up their pitchforks. If you want my advice, find the merchant quick and speak to him and only him. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, 
yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. As I told you, the soldier made no secret of his destination. He said the ruins were the perfect place for him to ask his beloved Dousabel for her hand in marriage. As I told you, the soldier made no secret of his destination. He said the ruins were... You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces, but her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. Remember that, my wayward lamb. You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces. But her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. It smells of death here, Togo.